hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how to use laravel cell for your local laravel deployment laravel cell is a great package that is basically a command line interface for getting laravel deployment environment up and running using docker this provides a great start for building a laravel application using php mysql and redis without requiring prior in docker experience this package in my opinion is very useful for both experienced developers with docker or for developers who have no idea about it. Let's follow the instruction and get it working together. So as per the instructions laravel cell is automatically installed with all new laravel applications. You would need to follow the installation documentation to get the laravel up and running. Before you play around with the shell, you would need to follow the installation documentation to get the Laravel up and running. You could also get shell installed on existing application. I might make a separate video about that, but I don't think it's that complicated. So let's open the installation documentation and follow the steps there. Ok, I'm on Windows currently. So let's click on getting started on Windows. Alright, before we create a new Laravel application on Windows, we need to install Docker Desktop. And also we need to install WSL2 and enable it. WS allows you to run Linux binary executables natively on Windows 10. For further more information, you can click on this link. For now, let's click on Docker Desktop. We need to install this in our system. Ok, now click on this download for Windows. Ok, file is downloaded. Now just click on it. It will take some time to download the packages, just wait for a while. Ok, now you can just click on OK. I'm going to fast forward this video. It will take a couple of minutes, so I'm just going to fast forward this video. Alright, installation is completed. Now just click on this button. Alright guys, I have just restarted my system. Now let's click on this Docker desktop. You can escape this. Just you can click on continue. And here you can see WSL installation is incomplete. So we need to install WSL first. So click on this link. Ok, you can scroll to top. Here you can see manual installation steps. We are going to install it manually, so just follow these steps. First, we need to enable the Windows subsystem for Linux. For that, you can just copy this link. And let's open the PowerShell is in administrator mode. Ok, run as administrator. Click on this. Ok, and here you can paste the code. And just enter. Ok, after the first step is completed. You can go for the second one. Check requirements for running WSL. You can check all the requirements that your system supports or not. Okay, I'm going to escape this for now. And in step 3, enable virtual machine feature. For that, you just need to copy this command. And again, you need to run the PowerShell. Alright, enable virtual machine feature is also done. Now it's time to download the Linux kernel update package. So for that, you can click on this link. Okay, it's already downloaded. Now you can just click on this file. Okay, once you click on that file, you'll see one pop up screen. Okay, for the installation, just click on next. Now the installation has been done. Now just click on finished. Okay, now let's go for the step 5. Set WSL2 as a default version. You can just copy this. And you need to run this in PowerShell. So open the PowerShell and just paste it. Okay, this has been done. Now we are in the final step. Here we need to install the Linux. So for that you can search for the Microsoft Store. And you can search here for the Ubuntu. Okay, you can install anyone, whatever you want. I'm going to install 18.04. And you can click on this install. You can ignore for sign in. It's now starting download. Alright, we have already installed the Ubuntu. Now just click on this button. And here you need to provide the username and you can provide the password as well. Okay, Ubuntu has been set up. 
now just close this screen we don't need and this also we can close now here you can see other steps also okay now we need to set distribution version to WSL1 or WSL2 for that let's copy this command first let's open the PowerShell here we can see we have docker desktop data and ubuntu 18.04 already we have done wsl setups completely so now just click on this restart button okay it will restart the docker here you can see it is starting you can close this screen as well all right we have already installed docker in our system we can just skip this tutorial part okay you can go to the setting part first you can escape this one in general you can see WSL2 is enabled and under this resource you can go to the WSL integration we have Ubuntu which is not enabled so you can enable this one and apply and restart now you can click on this cancel okay now let's run the command here you can check the docker version we have docker version 20.10.7 is installed in our system all right guys we have already installed docker in our system so in next video we'll install laravel using docker